Rose's Stain Fierce is now only minus 4 on block, up from minus 6. Not only are 4 frame punishes weaker, Rose will often be out of range of their 4 frame options. A cancel to medium fireball was previously interruptible by light normals, but now the window is smaller than 3 frames. Towards forward had the same change, going from minus 6 on block to minus 4, and thus becoming much harder to punish. Previously this had risk much higher than its reward. Stand short has more range. This is Rose's most damaging and versatile 4 frame option since it leads to her TC, so this improves her 4 frame punishes. Stand forward now special cancels. This normal is unthrowable for most of its animation and can be used to throw crush, but previously the only conversions out of it were counter hit or trigger activate. Most of Rose's cancels are unsafe point blank, so you'll probably want to go for EX Fireball. Low Fierce has more hits done. Now it combos to Heavy Fireball, which is plus 4 and enables Rose to continue a combo. This is her new meterless BNB punish, and it's stronger than her old meterless BNB by about 50 damage. Low Roundhouse has more reach and is a frame faster at 9 frame startup. This makes it a better poke and also gives her a combo from counter hit staying strong. Towards Roundhouse has increased struggle potential and will combo after many of Rose's launches. This is an interesting ender for Rose because she can now cancel it into V-Skill. For VS2 this gives you a reliable orb setup. Previously when juggling into VS1 card throw here, you had to combo VS1 only, which had a massive damage loss compared to other enders. Now you get towards Roundhouse and VS1, so there's not much opportunity cost. Also the VS1 cards have higher launches, so you get better Oki's Emma afterwards. Back Roundhouse Crush Counter launches a bit higher, but it's not high enough for a drill. And not close enough for a soul bind. The best ender I can find is simply sweep. All soul sparks push back more on block, which is nice because they're all minus. This makes them harder to punish. EX soul spark is down to 12 frames startup from 14. This enhances it in neutral and also lets it combo from max range low forward. It also combos from light normals when it didn't before. Air EX soul spark falls faster. Seems it's always safe on block now, which means you can use it as a shimmy of sorts. If it hits, you've got the frame advantage to pick up a combo. And after an air to air, you can pick up a juggle to drill or towards roundhouse. Drills have a higher launch and leave opponents closer. This gives Rose much better Oki's Emma afterwards. Heavy drill is faster specifically when cancelling from low strong, allowing it to combo. Rose is plus 3 on quick stand after 2 dashes here, giving you a perfect meaty timing for stand strong to beat reversal 3 frames. You can now special cancel the recovery of EX Soulbind. Not only does that give her a juggle to heavy drill, but if she decides to go for soul punish instead, she's plus 2 after setting it up. EX Soul Punish now trigger cancels. But I'm not sure when you'd use that on hit or block. Previously the white tarot built V-meter only, but now it also restores Rose's health and gives her grey health too. The red tarot increases her damage. Previously it went away if Rose was attacked, but now it always lasts 10 seconds even if she gets hit. At a modest 5 seconds, Rose VT2 has the shortest duration in the game. It's good on hit, but on block she lacks an overhead to open the opponent up, so opponents could just hold them back until the trigger ended. And if Rose threw them, the trigger would be over by the end of the throws animation. Now, throw animations pause the trigger timer. Additionally, if the opponent is knocked over, Rose's shadows will now OTG. Like other OTGs, this effect can be avoided with a quick stand. 
So this mostly just gives Rose a conversion from Crush Counter Sweep. Of course, the beauty of this change is the opponent is forced to quick stand when previously they could just stay on the ground to dodge a good chunk of Rose's trigger. Rose had a lot of buffs to her normals which improved both her damage and her consistency, plus some new incentives to use her V-Skills. She already had some solid distance play, but now she's much more well-rounded and powerful overall. I think she'll be a strong character in tournament play.